to come along singing, ah, sweet mystery of life. He's going to take away from all of this, relax. That's my kid sister. I want to make that last pitch and try to make it go straight, you understand? Yeah. I want you to know we're proud of you boys. What did they do, Coach? Too many vices. What do they do, Kojak? Well, besides uh, hustle the tourist trade, break the laws, and uh, poison your liver, right? You don't get much of a tan yourself. Mm -hmm. What's with this guy, Ibbotson? What's an Ibbotson? An Ibbotson? Well, an Ibbotson is a big pain where I don't need a big pain. I got busted with him about 10 years ago. You know, uh, an accessory with that. Switched wallet and a few other cons. It was easy. I was 19 years old. Anybody's gonna believe anything I say. You stop talking to me like a general, I'll take my lollipop away. He's in Danamora, I heard. Yeah, he got out three weeks ago. He served seven years of a seven-year sentence. He refused parole twice. Why? Well, this way he doesn't have to report to the parole officer. Can't be picked up on a hundred other minor violations. You know, I'm looking for him, sweetheart. Why me? Because you sent him Christmas presents every Christmas, except this last one. Because you knew he was getting out. He wanted certain things from the outside, certain kinds of candy bars, especially. He didn't have many friends except for his family, and then they were gone. You know that they ran off after he went up. I didn't want him getting out holding anything against me, not him. You better start thinking about me the same way, sweetheart. He phoned me once a couple of weeks ago. He said he was out of work. He said he had plans, seven years worth of plans. He didn't want to do anything to foul them up. I don't know where he is. I didn't want to know. We didn't do anything. I can understand that. Huh? If you find out where he is, you'll call me, right? Sure, Coach. Thank <laughs> you.